Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Yachen from Tencent. Uh, as a VP of the Tencent Cloud and also the general manager for the Tencent Network. Now I'm milling, uh, milling, leading in the Tencent Network infrastructure and also R&D and also the network cons uh, construction and also the operating for Tencent. Uh, so today, um, I'm very happy to be here. It's also my honor to introduce, give you a very brief introduction about Tencent uh, network consideration for, the, for our distributed cloud and also the, uh, for the edge computing. So uh, regarding Tencent is very quick uh, introduction. Tencent is the internet based uh, you know, technology and culture enterprise. We started with the, uh, 20 years ago with the uh, social network. So uh, we started with the social network. Now we provide almost uh, more than 200 ap uh, applications in the uh, APP store uh, covering the uh, games and social networks, music, video, news, sports, almost everywhere. And uh, we also cover what uh, uh, is also a cloud service provider. This is kind of service is that we started a couple of years ago as a basis for our, uh, for our social network and also for our uh, outside customers, business customers. Um, now the Tencent Cloud is uh, moving very fast and we are a support uh, not only for the WeChat, uh, uh, Tencent Video, QQ, uh, Tencent News, this, uh, uh, this kind of applications. It also supports our, our business partners. We support their, uh, not only their, the IS, SaaS and also the past services to, their, to our business partner based on the Tencent Cloud. So, um, the Tencent Cloud infrastructure is very uh, high level introduction. Now we covered, uh, we have the 27 regions globally and also the 10, uh, 70 uh, AZ or, or the available zones uh, globally. We have, we now, I think we have more than 3,000 uh, global CDN and the pop nodes uh, in, in, in the world. And the servers, you know, there is our, um, I think it's more than 2 million uh, servers already to support uh, uh, the applications and also our business partners. And uh, the internet bandwidth is also growing, growing very, uh, very fast because we, you, know, you know, we are not only the, the social network uh, service provider, we also uh, support lots of their uh, content and also gaming services. So it's more than uh, 300 uh, TB internet bandwidth in Tencent. So, um, about the network, uh, because today I would like to talk about some network infrastructure for Tencent, especially for the uh, for, for the edge computing for the, for the distributed cloud. So, in this picture, you can see from the right side uh, to the left side, uh, it's very high level uh, architecture, network architecture for the for the Tencent. We have four different level um, network. Uh, we have the DCN, DCI, ECN, and EIN. DCN is very, uh, you know, we, we use the white box the switch to support our data center networks based on SDN uh, technologies. It's connecting all the resources inside of the data center. And DCI is, is more like the uh, overlay and underlay network to connect, connecting the data centers in the different uh, regions. We call it uh, data center interconnection network. And also there's another one is the ECN. ECN is more like the external connection networks. We use this network infrastructure um, uh, to connecting our uh, enterprise IDC or the uh, business partners branches office uh, to our cloud, make to ensure the customer can access to the attention the cloud uh, efficiently. And uh, today I would like to talk about the EIN. It's edge interconnection network. It's the we initiated this this network infra solutions two years ago. We provide an edge to edge and edge to cloud uh, interaction and also the uh, networking for the distributed cloud. And also we provide the, the, also the uh, cloud, like 5G cloud, uh, uh, 5G cloud, cloud based for the 5G, uh, 5G core or 5G UPF. It's also uh, can be supported uh, by using the EIN. So um, this is the Tencent the distributed cloud, uh, um, solutions or infrastructure. Um, uh, why we call it the distributed cloud, you know, the, 
two years ago, we don't have the uh, age, uh, we don't have the age node. We only have a data center we call the DC. It's mainly located in the big city in China, like Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen. You know, it's 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 huge huge cities. It's data center. It's roughly about the ten or um, more than ten, I think. And uh, three years ago, we we have the age zone. Age zone we have we can provide the network latency less than the, uh, ten milliseconds. And uh, it's located in the uh, provisional capital uh, in China, roughly about uh, 30, I think, uh, age, age zone. And uh, two years ago, we have the, um, because of the cloud gaming and the new and the AI coming out, we need, uh, we need more uh, distributed age node and close to our customer, we have the age node. Now we have roughly about uh, more than 300 age node uh, located in the, almost all the cities in China. And uh, there's another one is we call the age box. It's it's uh, uh, it's very small, or tiny uh, things. Uh, age 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 site located in our customer uh, IDC. We can provide very low lower uh, very low low latency to our customers. So when we have the distributed cloud, we have we almost have the, our uh, computing resources everywhere. So for the network, we have the requirements. For example. We need a very high um, reliable uh, networks. We need to secure a reliable network to support eight to age, eight to cloud in the connection for hundreds of uh, even you know thousands of the eight node and eight eight box. And uh, we also need a very flexible you know uh, traffic control or the flow control flow scheduling to control the uh, the traffic between the uh, different node. And, this, and also the network functions or network solution need to be you know, affordable. That means the cost efficiency. So that's the requirements, which is, uh, it's very high risk requirements for the network. So we came out two technologies or two network solutions for our distributed cloud. The first one, we call it version one or phase one. It's age interconnection and, and the access, uh, acceleration network. And another one we call it version two or phase two. Uh, it's programmable and a high performance network for the distributed cloud. So the age interconnection network the in, the in the phase one, we use the age gateway distributed is software based gateway distributed in the, in the different age node or the age boxes to support the uh, interconnection, uh, decryption and the encryption uh, and also the square square. Uh, and also it can be a flow can be scheduling very smart scheduling by the different uh, in the different uh, network links because the uh, in this among these 300 tens in the cloud node not every not every node has a private link maybe some eight node you know connected by the so we we using the different virtual links based on the different service provider or the internet so we need a very flexible uh, well, flexible traffic control or scheduling between uh, these two, uh, these, uh, among the 300 tension cloud eight nodes. And uh, so this age, age cloud gateway, as I just mentioned, we used, we, we deployed uh, this gateway based on the, our uh, software defined router. It's a server based NFV and SDN routing system. So in this picture, you can see we have the control plan and the routing plan and also the forwarding plan. In the forwarding plan, we use the, it's very happy we, we use the VPP and also the DPDK, you know, from open source to, uh, uh, to establish our, our for, uh, forwarding plan based on the uh, servers. And on the, on the control plan, a couple of years ago, we used the ODL. Now we use the, you know, um, it's more like the microservices based their, uh, control plan. It's all software based their, uh, SDN architecture for our control plan. And uh, the advantage is very clear. Uh, this kind of software gateway is very flexible and uh, it's easy to scale out. And we can support uh, uh, more than 10,000 BGP and BFD neighbors in, uh, in this architecture. And it's also the software gateway, uh, it has, has uh, very, uh, a lot of limitations. For example, the server, we need, we need a lot of servers in, there, in our edge cloud uh, to support this kind of the software-based gateway. For example, maybe we need uh, roughly about 30% uh, consumption servers in the, in the edge cloud, in the edge site, 
it's all uh, it's all about the gateways not uh, not for the computing system uh, services to our customers and also the as i mentioned we need encryption and decryption it's more like square and a very high square connections um, functions in, in their edge side so uh, this kind of the uh, um, encryption capacity is also limited to our server server servers capability so we need another we need new um, architecture to support very high uh, and a very uh, it's cost effect effective solutions for our H, H node. So we, we have the uh, version two we, or phase two. Uh, now we are using the uh, uh, smart switch plus uh, uh, IPGA instead of the server uh, to, uh, to support the H gateway. So you, you can see in this architecture, it's a hardware architecture. It's very, uh, it's very uh, we use the CPU of course, and uh, IPGA and also the P4 switch to have a smart switch as a hardware. And uh, the throughput is we we can improve the throughput very high. We can support it because it's switch. It's not a service. It's we can support a, um, very high uh, throughput by using this kind of the uh, uh, solution. And a lot also latency. We we reduce the latency in dramatically. And also the smart switch because they also have the CPU. We can run in their uh, applications on the uh, smart switch by using their. You know, uh, we can run applications on the Docker or the uh, container-based uh, applications, and also you can see all the flow will be uh, offloaded to the from the server to the P4 switch, uh, so that we can we can have very high uh, throughput by using this kind of architecture. And also, uh, we uh, because the, the the application running on the Docker, so we can have the it 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 also can be easy to be upgrade and scale out. And, you know, we. Uh, this is also very flexible, and uh, we also have our own you know, software um, solutions for uh, for the uh, for, for this smart switch. Um, the very key point is that in this architecture, we have our own Sonic based on the Tencent Linux. It's there, for example, uh, we can support very uh, flexible, very uh, powerful functions. Like for example, in the management management plan. We support the gRPC and hotfix and uh, NDU. It's non-disruptive upgrade functions in our uh, management level. And also the monitoring plan, we can support the telemetry and also the um, uh, telemetry detection and hype um, report quick. We can have the filler report quickly to our, uh, to our um, network management system. And in the control plan, we support the BGP, OSPF, and BFD, and so on. And uh, also in the, uh, in the database, we have the Redis database uh, to use this Redis space space to save the configure and the state of data. Uh, so it's the, uh, all this software, uh, software platform is based on the um, Sonic and also there is on the Tencent, Tencent Linux. So the, uh, the high level application can run it on the, on, on the Docker side. So more flexible deployment with Docker is also supported in this software uh, design. So uh, let's just very quick introduction uh, about our uh, networking uh, phase one and phase two based on the software gateway. And then we move to the uh, smart switch based their, you know, uh, gateway. And uh, there's a use case you can see, uh, you know, the Tencent is now the uh, a, a cloud provider. We also provide the social network and also the gaming, uh, the, the mobile gaming and the PC gaming is very popular. Now, so uh, now we a uh, couple of years ago we have the cloud gaming as well because we have the uh, we we use the the same client. Uh, we, everything is running on the cloud, like the rendering, uh, gaming, streaming, uh, and the gaming server running on the cloud. We don't need to download uh, the big uh, the you know the the client in in a mo in a mo in a mobile side or the PC, and it's click click to play and no need to wait. We don't have the very high requirement to our uh, terminal side uh, performance. But we also have, we, we, but uh, two years ago, we realized the problem because the, the cloud gaming is very uh, sensitive to our network latency, uh, sometimes it's suffering from the, the data. Uh, the network quality will affect the cloud gaming user experience, uh, okay? 
So we moved some functions uh, inside of the cloud server to their, uh, to, uh, from the data center to the edge node. For example, we, uh, the gaming streaming and the gaming the rendering, these functions we move from the data center to edge node. Uh, by using these cloud, uh, distributed cloud uh, um, functions, we can see, uh, for example, the RTT and OPEX, so we reduce their uh, 50, uh, roughly 50% 50 RTT um, by using distributed cloud. And also the OPEX, we uh, reduce the 30 to 40% uh, uh, OPEX. So it's mainly about the bandwidth. So we save a lot of bandwidth by using this di distributed cloud. So now, uh, now uh, we have 300 distributed cloud node in China and 100 uh, distributed cloud node running on the cloud gaming. So it's very, uh, very uh, popular now. Okay, um, it's, I, I just want to uh, just give a very quick introduction about the Tencent uh, networking for the distributed cloud. And uh, we also use a lot of open source, um, so, uh, open source project from the Linux, Linux Foundation. Uh, so Tencent is very happy to see more uh, technology we would like to explore um, more and a new, some, some new technologies with, uh, with Linux Foundation and all the, all the partners uh, in, uh, in, in the Linux Foundations. Okay, that's all my uh, presentations. Thank you very much. Excellent, thank you. If you can stop sharing, then we can be side to side by side. Very good, thank you. Uh, so that, that's fantastic. I mean, uh, yes, there was already gaming, but with edge computing, you have really enhanced the experience of the game. So a uh, couple of questions have come in related to game um, uh, and, and one related to smart gateway. So one question is what makes the gateway smart? Uh, Simple question, but if you can answer it quickly. Yeah, it's, it's not a gateway smart. It's, I think it's a switch smart. There you go. Currently switch we use it, so, you know, it's very popular in a, in a data center network. It's a, it's a, it's a white box to switch, right? Yep. And the CPU is very, uh, it's, it's very uh, low power. And now we using the, uh, we, we have a smart switch. We use the P4, it's a programmable language, okay. So the, the pipeline in the switch can be programmed yep. by its service demand. So, it's, so that's why we call it the, 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 the smart. Okay. We have the, the GPU in the, we have the GPU FPGA uh, um, in the switch. And we also using the P4 as a programmable, you know, very high level language. We can, uh, we can design our pipeline and design our you know, forwarding uh, policies in the switch. Yeah, so no, no. That, switch. That's it's what makes it smart. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. Uh, there is also a question on would Tencent explore AR, VR, AR, VR? Yeah, in sure. the gaming in the industry? Yeah, yeah, sure. I think now, but, but now it's just the POC or trail, uh, some trail uh, running under, uh, you know, the uh, currently. But cloud gaming is the, is the commercial per, uh, commercial now, but uh, I think AR, VR is the, just the POC running on their uh, age, yeah. Yeah, okay, very good. Uh, there's one more question is, what does the SDN technology stack look like in the control plane, management plane, any open source projects that you have uh, used yeah. in the- Yeah, as, as I just mentioned, uh, uh, two years ago, we used the open daylight uh, okay. as the as controller in our control plane. But okay. now, uh, you know, we use the, uh, we, we upgrade our open, open daylight, uh, you know, uh, controller by using the microservices design. Yeah. Okay, got it. Uh, I also had one final question and that is uh, uh, edge computing has opened up new use cases and new applications. So a year from now, or what are you seeing as killer use cases for edge that your teams are either trialing or working on, or you know, what would the audience kind of dream about, right? Uh, from from your yeah, end? I think that uh, our uh, cloud gaming is our first, uh, you know, uh, it's key applications for Tencent. And, okay. and now we 
Yeah, we are also looking for the like AR VR is also it's already mentioned, and also the live broadcasting. You know, in China, mm. live broadcasting. You you for, and also Tencent meeting, similar as Zoom. Yeah, we also have the uh, uh, the audio and the video. You know, uh, video uh, audio and video. We we can function so also distributed in the, our uh, in our eight com eight nodes. Okay, so we much better latency. Meeting. Yeah, so yep. much better latency and save a lot of bandwidth. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Thank you for answering so many questions and appreciate your insights into your network. Uh, so, with that, thanks a lot. And um, uh, good thank luck. you, RP. I, I just realized this is my first time to give an introduction or presentation on behalf of Tencent. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, good. Very happy, to, very happy to see you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.